<laughs> Tough times. Save it for the podcast. Another year of success against Georgia Tech's triple option. What's what's the secret to Just our, our preparation. Um, our guys played uh, really well. A little over a week to get ready for them, and so that always helps. You know, just getting uh, getting the game plan down and technique down and we're really proud of our, our players and coaches that's and those, those guys gotta go out and play stay on their feet squeeze blocks and tackle well and just be disciplined so uh, it really there are no magical calls to it you gotta you gotta you know, again do those things uh, first and foremost and uh, a lot of them it's like it's like doing time these last two weeks it's like it's torture uh, to be honest with you because they have answers, you know, to what you're doing, and uh, they make it very hard mentally, physically, you know, for 60 minutes. So um, our guys were, were locked in, and you know, just have a tremendous amount of pride, and they recognize the uh, the challenge, and uh, really just responded, you know, responded, especially after a, you know, again a, a you know, our, our last outing, uh, you know, wasn't, you know, that wasn't really. Uh, that wasn't really uh, reflective of who we are, you know, and um, and uh, good to see that at least for a week it was an aberration, and I uh, got back uh, on track and uh, really played uh, very well. Proud of them. You guys seem to embrace the atmosphere with the weather conditions. We saw that with Notre Dame a couple of years ago. We saw it. You know, what's that conversation like before you go out there to those guys? Oh, you, all, be well, you always talk about, you know, you know, the elements, the the style of play, you know, on the road at night, noon. You know, just embrace it all. So um, everybody does. But uh, yeah, it was good. I worried a little bit whether or not it would favor them. Just you know that dive that is torture that falls for four. You know all day and because you can't wrap them up and uh, slips through and those the, you know that's how they they uh, can get in sync and in rhythm. So um, really from the onset, I think they they hit a couple early dives for four or five and. And I mean, our guys got uh, got locked in and, and uh, really put the clamps on them for a good good amount of the game. What is it that, about Dorian that makes him so well suited? He's, he's athletic, you know. He's athletic and got good instincts for it. Uh, got a good uh, uh, understanding and instincts of, of spacing and into the technique that goes along with it. He's hard to knock off. And he's, and he's very fast and old, he's very strong. Good tackler. Uh, he's he's hard to handle on that perimeter. This kind of game suit a guy like Traylon Moore. Yeah, I mean, I think he had 11 plus tackles. Played, played outside backer and and you know linebacker both. You know, uh, we worked him at both this week, and he did a great job. And it's very hard for all the things that we do on defense, uh, scheme wise, and then and then the the variety of things that are drastically different if you're playing. You know, the end or linebacker. So I uh, thought he really had an outstanding two weeks of prep and uh, gave us some good depth there at, at the end for this game. You got to play be like an outside linebacker, you know, uh, in the scheme at, the, at that position. So uh, really did well. Good athlete, you know, good good on his feet, hard to knock off his feet, and can really run and he's strong. What is it about Trey that made you realize that he could learn two positions and handle that? Well, I mean, there's some simplicity with it, you know, but uh, we just tried it. You know, he had a knack for it first day. We tried it, and uh, just just never know. Your numbers aren't real good there, you know, for this game. And so, uh, you know, just he does it anyway at linebacker in, in a lot of ways. So, um, but he, he seemed mentally to be able to handle, you know, that capacity as well as play. You know, middle linebacker. Uh, during the, when you have two weeks, that kind of gives you, you know, some time to kind of figure things out and see if uh, if he's you know naturally able to do that. With Dexter going out, how big was it getting a guy like Niles? Who yeah, yeah, we thought Niles would play well, and he got in and did. And uh, he's a good athlete; really stays on his feet well. Um, and uh, but that was that was big, really big. Dorian mentioned that that this game was important to remind the players. This is who we are. How big is it for their confidence going forward? Well, I th- yeah, I think it is. I mean, again, we know again we didn't, we didn't play very well, coach very well last time we were out. So, uh, great catch. Uh, what we did is very hard to do, and, uh, and and so, you know, we still have a chance. You know, at the division, and that was you know really that was the goal, and uh, we felt strongly that we'd have to play really well.
about where to do that on our side of the ball and as a team. And um, so it's just, you know, it continues to give us a chance, you know, in our division. And now you got to go back on the road and try to have some redemption, you know, you know, because it, it takes a different mentality and a uh, different mindset, you know, than what we had the last time out, you know, going on the road and a chance to win.